Hey YouTubers, Faith Mata here. I am coming to you today with a new type of video. Um, this is basically an unboxing video. And how this happened is I have a buddy of mine who um, sent me some lights that he purchased from a relatively new company. And he had them sent to me so I could unbox them and show them to you and demonstrate them and try them out myself. And tell you what I think about them. So um, he had them sent to me and the company is called Outbound Lighting. So this is what I got. This is um, a combination package that he bought called the Evo Downhill. Um, this is the Trail Evo which is the handlebar light and then this is the Hangover which is the helmet light. So let me just kind of show you a little bit. All right, so this is the handlebar light. This is basically the equivalent of the Knight Rider 2200 Pro race light. Um, the cool thing about this company, Outbound Lighting, is that their um, lights are all wireless and there's no battery packs. And if you've ever seen the Knight Rider Pro 2200, you know there's a big fat battery pack um, the light itself is heavy, the battery pack's heavy, and you got to be wired up to it. So this is awesome if you ask me. Um, this will fit a 35 millimeter um, handlebar or your 31.8 millimeter with the little adapter that fits inside. And this comes with an Allen key for the little screw for the mount. So this weighs probably about 150 grams roughly less than the pro uh, 2200 and the lumens i think are about 2000 to 2200 on this so this is very comparable um, the runtime is also pretty comparable from the charts i've seen and here is the helmet light so this little guy is about a thousand lumens yes hi little man this is my dog Rocky trying to get all the attention and be famous, which I'm sure he'll get more likes than I ever would. <laughs> my big girl somewhere in the house too, so maybe she'll make an appearance. Um, this light, uh, super light, and I don't know, not much to see, but it's um, you know, it's about equivalent to the Knight Rider 1100 or something that I have here. Um, so, like I said, you can buy these lights separate or you can get them as the Evo downhill package that we have right here. So, um, I looked into everything else between these lights and the Knight Rider and pricing too is about $358 for the combo. So, you can uh, basically pick up both of these lights for the same cost as you could... Um, the Pro 2200 by itself, in fact that would cost way more, or a combination of these two together basically from Knight Rider. So um, that's about that. So next time I see you we will be demonstrating um, in a dark room different light patterns and then I'll uh, take you out on the trail just for a quick spin showing you at their lowest and their highest uh, settings. And also, one more thing before I go is there are adaptive settings on these, which I'm not totally clear on what that means, except that they adapt somehow with your riding to be brighter or less bright. Like, um, you know, maybe if you go faster, they're brighter, slower, they're, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's taking into account airflow, I don't know. But that's a feature that I don't think Knight Rider has, although... Correct me if I'm wrong. I might be wrong on that. But anyhow, that's it for that. So let's take it into a dark room and then out on the trail. All right. See you later. Okay, guys, real quick. I'm going to do a quick experiment with the light that occurred to me the other day. So this will give you a better idea of brightness. So I'm going to turn on the Knight Rider lights on their lowest setting real quick. And I'm going to turn off the light. So that's what you see. <clears throat> Back on, I'm going to bump it up to high, the highest setting. Turn off the 
way. And that's what you see. I don't know if you see a difference or not. Okay. And then real quick, turn these off. And now I'm gonna turn on the outbound lights on their lowest setting. because <clears throat> I know it doesn't show up very well on the trail you know the GoPro effect so just wanted to show you that all right okay guys so we are out at the trail for our light demo uh, first thing is I have you strapped onto my husband who's going to be my lovely assistant for tonight I dragged him out here to torture him and to demonstrate lights for you so I'm gonna send him down first one way running uh, the Knight Rider lights this is the 1800 lumens on the helmet and the 1100 on the bars and they're going to be on the lowest setting and i'll double check that before he starts and then i'll do a run with the outbound lighting lights on their lowest setting and we'll kind of do a little bit side by side here and there and give you some comparisons okay let's get started all right this is the night rider on the lowest setting go ahead Okay, now this is run two with the Knight Rider lights on full bore, so take it away. All right, guys, this is my first run with the outbound lighting on its lowest setting. Here we go. I just want to mention, too, that these lights are, uh, the combo is cheaper than buying the lights separate with Knight Rider if you do a 2200 for your bars like this one and you do a helmet of some sort. So, uh, is about a hundred dollars price difference and the handlebar light is um about i think like 100 150 grams lighter than the 2200 night rider so it's a lot lighter and you don't have the battery pack and the one thing i've noticed with the lighting is that the uh it's, it's almost like a, the beam projects better than the Knight Rider, which is more dispersed, I think. So with this one, I can see better. And I can see further in the distance, even on the low setting. So, like I was able to spot a coyote in really good detail in the bushes that I would never have even seen with the Knight Rider. So, I thought I'd throw that out there. And I'm not saying that these lights are necessarily better or worse just different and 
think it's like a new company, so you know, throw some business their way, they're pretty good. I am really impressed by them. All right, I'll see you at the top for run number two. All right, guys, this is my second round on the highest settings. So here we go. Another thing I should mention about these is there's also an adaptive setting, although they don't really explain what that entails, but I think it's like, it goes higher and lower, probably depending on airflow or speed or something. I have no idea, so not real clear on that. And they're not very clear on it either on their site or anything, so. And the runtime's pretty much comparable between the different companies. And, Um, the one totally unrelated thing is I got to mention that I put some Vibracore handlebars on my Ibis uh, just uh, yesterday and took it for a test ride this morning. And if you don't know about these, look into them because they are amazing. Um, I discovered that they knock out a lot of the little chatter on the trails, like little brake bumps, little bumps of any sort things like that because they have a foam dampening core in there as really cool so it's a good alternative to carbon bars if you're afraid of crashing and snapping them and impaling yourself so these are uh, not carbon but they basically perform the same function so just uh, my two cents on that and uh, Spank is the company that makes them so great bars they have colors on them so whatever you want to do but just wanted to let you know so you can check them out especially if you have hand fatigue or anything like that on downhills it definitely will help all right guys that's going to conclude our little uh unboxing video of the lights and everything and our little side-by-side -side comparison for you so the company again is outbound lighting give them a check them out all right, I'll catch you on the next video. Until then, don't ride anything I wouldn't ride.